Hello. 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 Yeah, hi, Deepen. How are you doing today? One minute, I'm not able to hear you. Okay. Hello? Yeah. Am I audible? Yes, you are audible. I can't see your like your camera is off. So can you? Yeah. Now you see. So how was your day? Yeah, just started it. Okay. Uh, like uh, you wrote my name and like you had a family emergency. So is every I guess everything is okay. All okay. Yeah. Sure. So uh, the thing uh, look uh, like we are feature uh, we are feature this interview on our on our YouTube channel. Okay, Arkidesh YouTube channel. So I guess you uh, this is not a problem with you. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Sure. So uh. Uh, Depend. So, uh, Depend. Uh, look, how did you start your career? Well, okay with you. Or Sorry. You need to you need to change the camera. Yeah, sure. Is the camera uh, what you are seeing in the frame that is okay, right? Yeah, that is okay. Okay. Uh, so, uh, look, uh. So how did you uh, like uh, like how did you start your career and pursuing your career in architectural designer? So can you tell me like how did you start your career or when did you start your career? Basically, I finished my uh, bachelor's in two thousand and fifteen, okay. and after that I did a master's uh, from Oxford Brookes in advanced architecture. So. Uh, after completing my bachelor's degree, I had started working on projects as a freelancer. And then after my master's, I had joined my father's company and we co-founded Janna Studio. So that is uh, how I started my practice. And now it's been uh, eight years and we have completed more than 100 projects. It's included all, over the India. all over all over India. Uh, we have completed in London and we have completed in Oman also and we are doing in India as well, mostly in Baroda, but India as well and we are also doing two uh, high-rise building in Bombay for structure design. Okay, yeah. So basically uh, you start, uh, you join your father's company, uh, yeah, that's great. Okay, so just uh, you told me, Fair, uh, I guess your family background be uh, architecture related. Your father be uh, architectural. Hai. Okay. So, uh, designer. Yes, uh, he's a structure designer. Yes, he's a structure designer. Okay. So, uh, can you tell me about your family, family background and like, uh, you know, how? Yeah, so my father is a structure consultant. He is in the line since 30 years and I have joined him from 2015. And my wife is also an interior designer. She is also working with us. Unfortunately, she put me here. Uh, so we, I take care of architectural work. She takes care of interior work. And my father takes care of structural work. So we have in-house uh, all the services that is required for design. Okay. So just you have told me, like, uh... आपने तो जब फिफ्टीन में आपने ज्वाइन किया था आई गेस सो आई आपकी जो फादर्स की कंपनी है उन्होंने कब स्टार्ट की थी जैसे मिस स्टूडियो ये इज वर्किंग सिंस थर्टी इयर्स लास्ट थर्टी इयर्स लास्ट थर्टी इयर्स ओके आई गेस टू थाउजेंड टेन और टू थाउजेंड इलेवन नो मोर देन बिफोर दैट 
Okay. So uh, that's great. Uh, like uh, 35 years old experience. Yeah, that's great. Okay. So, uh, yeah. So what is our design process like uh, for company, for conceptual and to finalize of a project? Design? Design philosophy for uh, all the project is the same for us like we we need to understand what is the requirement of the user that is the only thing that is important and we believe that uh, his requirements is more uh, priority than the uh, the feel uh, feel is more important than how the form is so we believe that it is important to design as per his requirement rather than as per uh, over imposing our views on him, it is more important to listen what he wants and to give him what he wants. Like, and we have to take care how it looks aesthetically and uh, uh, how uh, the elevation is, how the uh, facade is. But it is more more important is the requirement of the client. That is our design process. Okay. Or uh, how do you how do you uh, uh, typically uh, source the source product and material for your upcoming architectures project? How did you choose the project product and materials? Yeah, so we we stay updated with the new materials that are coming in the market through various agencies and vendors and through Pinterest also. And you can see many many many. Uh, you also have Instagram. You can see the new materials that are coming. Um, so then you get inspired by that also and then you uh, show to the clients and if he is okay to use it then you work out in such a way that it fits under his budget and he appreciates it and then we install it. That's great. Uh, you have told me, so how did you uh, like complete your Oman project? Uh, like uh, or uh, how did you like ta more targeting for whole India? And do you have a strategy? How you can make a strategy for targeting uh, like audience to targeting customers? In architectural field, mostly there is no uh, marketing strategy. As I feel like your work itself is your uh, card, or your work itself is your reference. So yeah. we had done one project for uh, them uh, in the previous year and they were happy with the service and all. And then they came up with this uh, resort design for the Oman project. And then we delivered that also in time. So right now it's under execution. Okay, that's great. Uh, how did you manage your time and resources to ensure the timely completion of the two projects? How did you manage your time? So uh, basically, uh, time management is. Uh, so Don't call me sir. My name is Ankit. Uh, I like. Uh, yeah. uh, we we try to work uh, like we uh, try to finish work. We have a strategy like uh, uh, what we want, like in terms of drawings, in terms of three D, uh, in terms of the uh, site execution. Like we have a design team, we have site visit or site engineer team. So basically what we do is we, uh, we give a timeline to the client. Like this, this, this will be your stage of work. And after his approval, and then we start the work. Like before starting the work, we give the timeline. Like this will be the uh, starting date and the project will take like two years plus or minus three, four months, like depending on the vacation or, or some uh, or monsoon or something like that. Then uh, after all the drawings are being finalized, the 3D is finalized, only then we start the site work. There are minor changes that happen, that always happen inside, but mostly all the elevation, interior, uh, all that is first finalized before that work has started. So that way we can finish the project within the time limit of the plan. Okay. So it means like you had a team for that, like who will uh, go to the uh, the 
like side and they will they will handle all the work and they will analyze like how the work is going so i guess you had a team for that or uh, like it will manage by it will manage by you no uh, like uh, we have a team for that but it's all under my supervision okay like i have to be involved in all the uh, important decisions like they do not have uh, like no no decision for the residents or anything that is goes to the side without my consent okay that's great uh like uh, you said like you are uh, so like what kind of uh, project you are mostly targeting like it's a residential it's a commercial what kind of project you are targeting we, we uh, like we don't have any particular priority we design all kinds of building even if there's a small toilet block also we design them but uh, right now for we have uh, more residential projects bungalow projects and uh, resorts and hotels projects right now we have and we are doing uh, two or three commercials also in rajasthan so we do all kind of projects we don't have any particular like like he like we only do bungalows or we only do high rise like that we are compatible and we are also flexible in our design also like we do all kind of uh, work like as per the client requirement okay uh, like uh, can you discuss uh, any challenges you faced in a previous uh, project or in a like previous uh, in a covid covid year uh, actually because yeah, because of the covid like all the sites were not uh, working so there was a challenge to finish the time finish the work in time and to also convince client that there is a shortage of labor and uh because of this work is being held so that was a major challenge to convince the client and to make him understand that due to this uh, covid there was an uh, pandemic all over the country so uh, to convince them that because of this work is being stopped or work is not happening on site there is a delay that was the only issue that we faced and since it was throughout the entire country so everyone even the clients were able to understand they were flexible but still there was there were some project that we had to uh, convince them because of this there was a delay in the work okay yeah uh, like uh, so how how did you like uh, how did you see the covid time in our, like in our last 3 years like uh, covid in the last 3 years like 2019 they started and 2019 to 2020 till 2020 uh, 21 okay so uh, on that time uh, how did you see the market uh, uh, now what is the market going so we feel that the uh, during the first what i understand is during the first wave there was a, a lot of uh, fear around the people but after the second wave i feel the market has uh, jumped there were lots of properties that were not being sold that were sold after covid and there was also a huge demand in the apartments like people wanted to move out like that so i feel there was a, a increase in the sale okay. and yeah and after the covid now i think now the market is a bit stabilized so i think it's all like as what it was before covid okay so uh, and the uh, the uh, uh, the thing is that like you know, just give me some second yeah yeah how did you how did you uh, like handle changes and modification to the project uh, during the during the construction and pitch sorry i, I didn't understand yeah the i said uh, how like how did you handle changes and modification uh, to a project during a uh, construction phase so like i said like we have this process of designing everything and gets everything approved by the client before the work has started and there are some cases or there are some projects in which the client is not able to understand the drawing and after the uh, work has started he is able to he or he wants to make changes yeah. so the thing like uh, what we have is i i already told you we have a team of architectural structural and interior designers so we have the structural team so we make sure that uh, the changes that the client wants 
is uh, possible with the help of structural team and uh, because of our process uh, so far we haven't had any uh, major like we want to remove this wall or we want to remove this column all such issues that uh, haven't come yet but because we do all the 3d and all the uh, drawings and beforehand we show the client how the building is going to look or how the room is going to look or how the elevation is going to look how the services are going to be uh, moving inside the building so yeah and also uh, we explain the client uh, all the drawings and the 3d and elevation in detail before the work has started so there are very few chances of changing the things okay and um, how did you how did you approach uh, clients presentation and the communication of design concepts uh, First of all, what we do is we listen to what the client wants. That okay. is very important to understand what he needs. So 50% of your uh, design work is done by the client. Like he wants this, he wants that. So if you understand what his requirements are, or your 50% of your work is already done. Instead of you imposing your ideas like, we want this to be like this. We want this to be like this. It's more important to uh, to hear what what kind of room he wants or what kind of elevation he wants. What is the requirement right now? Where he is living? Like what is the what is the function of his uh, kitchen? Like uh, what are the requirements in the bedroom? So fifty percent of your design work is is over there. Finished. And then what is left is you have to design as per his requirements and uh, you have to add a pinch of your taste like uh, some elevation or some uh, elements like this which you can put which makes the room more even more brighter. So that way uh, that is one thing and another is uh, right now you know we have this Pinterest and all, all this, uh, uh, there are lots of data on the internet, okay? So some what happens most of the time is the client itself comes with this, uh, like I want this kind of room, I want this kind of elevation, I like this kind of color scheme. So what we try to do is in we try to uh, make the uh, uh, room or the elevation, whatever the, the design is, as per his requirement. But aesthetically, it should look uh, uh, original. Like we don't want to just copy it as it is. Okay, but uh, it is it is important to understand the client's requirements. Okay, and how uh, like uh, how did you understand the client requirement? Uh, like uh, so, you have a like uh, so like I guess you uh, like note down every point like what customer wants we then we have, a check, we have a checklist for all all uh, scale of project like for apartments for interior for bungalow like we have a separate checklist for all the uh, type of buildings or the interiors so we get that feedback from them and then it becomes very easier to design and we also show them some references and uh, some our completed works and then uh, based on their uh, input, it becomes easier for us to design. Okay. And uh, like, uh, what are the challenges when you started your career? Uh, like, and now, or, like what kind of challenges you see and what, how the challenges are changes? So can you explain? So first, when I started my career, the first challenge was like, uh, I had the support of my father in this yeah. industry. so. Yeah uh main challenge was like to from out of his shadow okay like it, it is important like you have your own identity yeah. so that one we are still we are still trying to uh, establish ourselves as uh Jarna studio okay and another challenge is it's always important to uh set up the office like how the system of the office is going to be 
is uh, we are still trying to figure that out like how SOP. the process is huh? it means like sop yes uh, how the office is going to work we are trying to uh, figure out how how the work can be done even if we are uh, even if i or uh, my wife or we are not there but still the work has to be going on uh, you know we have to go for a lot of site visit or material selection and all that so we are trying to automate like, we are trying to work out how how we can automate the system and that way we can expand okay and like what kind of challenges are you facing right now so can you tell me like what kind of challenges are you facing right now uh well, any any uh, uh, main challenges you know to uh to give the work on time that yeah. is because because in design there are lots of options and lots of possibilities if you go in deep for all the options then you may not be able to deliver on time okay so the main challenge is to deliver the drawings or the design that we have committed on time that is one main challenge second is uh, like you said like most of the time there are uh, uh, some changes or minor changes that are coming from the client like let's keep this uh, bed on this wall or we want to change this window from the elevation point of view or anything like that that changing changing the drawing while the work is going on like you have already submitted the drawings a one time and then you have to redesign it you have to change it so doing that and then make sure there is no confusion on site you have to keep the contractors uh, updated like so these are the few changes challenges yes yes please sorry yeah that, that's what i said like making the changes like on site changes and delivering on time these these are the two main challenges that we're facing okay and um, like uh, now i said like can you can you discuss your experience with a designing uh, with a multifunctional space and such as such as a mix uh, like use development uh, reuse a project uh yeah sure like uh for a mixed use project like you need to uh, make sure like how you are going to divide your uh, first of all it's what is like how how you want to divide your uh, massing like what is the percentage of commercial area what is the percentage of residential area then you would like to uh, make sure like you are getting enough uh, parking space available yeah, you are getting in a ample amount of parking uh, allotted parking for the uh, your uh, proposed project then it is another important thing like you have to work out your services how you are going to work out your because you have a residential also you have a commercial also how you are going to work out your services what is going to be a column position and all that so these are the main things that you are, one needs to uh, keep in mind before designing a mix use okay uh like uh, can you discuss your approach to um integrating a technology um, such as like bm files uh like cat files in your project so how did you integrate a new technology uh, like uh, let's say like ai so how did you see the like the future ai uh, what we personally feel is ai and uh, these automated tools are important uh we can use them in the uh the second stage, the first stage is designing. So that design should be done by you. Yeah, in the after stage, like you have this uh, uh, working drawings and this uh, plumbing drawings and electrical drawings and all that, you can use this uh, software for that. But what I feel that uh, the original design must come from you, not from any computer. It will come from your mind. Yes, and uh, we use software like Rhino and Grasshopper and all that to design uh, facades and furniture. But but all that the basic idea must come from you. Uh, it's not it's not like you know the software and then it's just going to you just press a button and you are going to have this beautiful elevation. It should be your your uh, 
okay because <coughs> it will uh it will make you like unique it will create a unique uh yes, because ai ai is uh what what can happen like we i we haven't used it the ai function yet but we do use some uh dino and grass software and all the parametric software but what happens like it will be like all all mass production then you won't have any any uh, individuality in that originality okay. in that. okay uh, like uh, can you can you share your experience uh, you have you have with a working on a project with a limited resources so like uh, what what kind of limited resources like budget wise what kind like of a budget budget like a time limitation uh, like a material like let's say like uh, you 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 have also done project in a oman so like uh, on that on that oman on that oman location okay so you had some limitation mm. what I, what i mean uh, like the timing uh, the material the budget <coughs> so how did you see that Yeah, like I said, like we have to organize the uh, the work that we have to do before starting the work. We have to get that approval from the client. Like this will be the stages. This will be the we do a, a bar chart like that. And uh, if there is any delay, like we have keep the client informed, like updated. Like this this is going on because of there will be delay. You you have, we also. Uh, give them the quantity and all that. Like you have to keep these things ready. It will be required in the later stage. Then we also keep the contractors in check. Like if well, if you are doing a ground floor slab, we keep give them a first floor slab for review. So there is a uh, no delay in the process. Like that way, it is. Uh, that was the main uh, concern, and that was the main challenge for for a project like this. Yeah, just can you just give me some second? I'll just. Okay, so uh, okay, so and um, just can yeah, so uh, like how did you uh how did you approach uh creating a innovative and unique solution for architectural design? There is uh, we don't have uh, like uh, uh, there is no magic behind this design or anything. It's just a simple process that we have to follow. Okay, when anything you are designing, you are given a brief. You just have to follow that, and then you have to use your uh, imagination or your experience or your uh, design skills in that. So that is the main thing. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's that's great. Uh, okay, and uh, like you say, like imagination. I guess, uh, like in in architectural or any field, imagination is like is too important for the project. Like, how did you imagine the project when it mm. when till not started? Mm. Yes, sir. So, uh, like, how did you see that? Or uh, the imagination, uh, because like I guess uh, now you had experience, but in a but in a newly uh, like uh, when you start your career, so how you can see the uh, the like uh, imagination, uh, like the project. How did you make make the project when when your project is completed? What we have in architecture is whenever you you pass your architecture, we have this uh, six months training. We have to do a training under some architect. So I believe that that training is more important than the five years that you have spent in college, because there you get to understand like how actually the work is done, how actually the work is carried out on site. Everything we learn in college and uh, what we what we think that I after college I will design this after college I will do this, but what we we understand reality after going to the office. For for an internship or for for a training for job, like uh, I feel like at least you need to do a job for two years under under some architect, then you will be able to understand how the office is working, 
how the site is uh, how the work is going on site so that that is the most important part of your uh, architectural life that you need to soak in everything that you get in your internship I and mean, during your job okay and like let's say uh so uh, like uh you have so and um, yeah so uh, like uh, we had a limited time but thank you for thank you for your time thank you for your support and like having a conversation with you like i really enjoy i hope you enjoy too okay and thank you for your time thank you for your support uh, let's see uh, like we will see you soon okay thank you hey. yeah uh, please uh, share your comments